Fox News alert, a bipartisan group of senators on Capitol Hill sending a strong warning to Iran. They are introducing a resolution backing the use of U.S. military force, U.S. military force, to stop Iranian leaders from getting their hands on nuclear weapons. The senators are making it clear the time for talk is running out. Distraction by negotiation while you become a nuclear power is not an option for you. And containment of a nuclear Iran is not an option for us. We're for real. There's still time. Do the right thing, and you can avoid <coughs> consequences that are unpalatable to you as well as a last resort for us. We will end their nuclear weapons program. We will prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons capability. This is a deadly serious moment. For only the second time in 30 years, Iranian warships have entered the Mediterranean, stoking already soaring regional tensions. The Navy's top admiral said the craft, thought to be a destroyer and its supply vessel, were on a mission of peace, but also that Iran wanted to showcase its naval power. Unconfirmed reports said the ships might be destined for Syria. Israel put its navy on alert as the Iranian boats passed through the Suez Canal for the second time since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. The show of strength comes amid mounting hostility between Tehran and the West over the Islamic Republic's nuclear program. If this regime, which are extremely uh, radical regime, will get nuclear weapons, it will become somehow immune against toppling it down because it will get the same kind of immunity that uh, Kim Jong-il had uh, here in your region. Earlier this week, Israel accused Iran of being behind attacks or attempted attacks on Israeli targets in India, Georgia and Thailand. Tehran denied any involvement. It also rejects claims that it's trying to develop nuclear weapons. Continuing to rise in the Middle East, ahead of a planned inspection of Iran's nuclear facilities by the International Atomic Energy Agency next week. Iranian state TV has shown pictures of what it says are recent military exercises in central Iran. Fears that the country's nuclear program is aimed at developing atomic weapons led to a decision by the EU to stop importing crude oil from Iran from July the 1st. But on Sunday, a spokesman on the state's oil ministry website was reported to have said that Iran has already halted sales to French and British companies. Earlier, the ministry had denied Iranian media reports that it had stopped selling crude to six other EU countries. Diplomats tell AP that Iran is poised to greatly expand uranium enrichment to a point that would boost how quickly it could make nuclear warheads. The Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency has once again confirmed that Iran is not after a nuclear arms program. IAEA Director General Yukia Amano said on Monday, quote, we are not saying that Iran has a nuclear weapons program. We have concerns and I want to clarify the matter. I um, just um, um, gave my introductory statement at the beginning of uh, the Board of Governors uh, meeting. And uh, it was a quite long statement, quite long introductory statement. It covers various areas. It includes some uh, various informations. Uh, but um, I think uh, you are very much interested in, in the report on Iran and the other countries. Amado made the remarks at the opening session of the IAEA Board of Governors meeting in Vienna, Austria. The substance is uh, quite similar uh, to the previous reports. Uh, but um, uh, I tried to... Um, increase uh, the clarity in language and um, um, uh, presentation. Uh, first, um, uh, I discussed in uh, the report uh, what are the legal, legally binding obligations of uh, Iran. This is why the UN Nuclear Agency in its latest report in February reaffirmed that there has been no diversion in the civilian nature of Iran's nuclear program. All reports the IAEA has so far issued on Tehran's nuclear activities verify that there has been no diversion in the country's civilian nuclear activities. The sanction of the UN Security Council over Iran's nuclear program more or less attacks the entire country since Iran evidently never violated the laws set by the agency. 
In February, the U.S. National Intelligence Estimate also reiterated its 2007 position that U.S. spy agencies have concluded that Iran is not after nuclear weapons. The Islamic Republic says that as a member of the IAEA and a signatory to the NPT, it has the right to use peaceful nuclear energy under international law. Giampola. A U.S. intelligence official said on Thursday Israel has not made a decision to attack Iran over its nuclear program. It's also believed Iran will respond if attacked, but is unlikely to initiate or provoke a conflict. Iran could also attempt to employ terrorist surrogates worldwide. However, the agency assesses Iran is unlikely to initiate or intentionally provoke a conflict. Burgess addressed the Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, asked whether intelligence agencies believe Israel has made a decision to attack Iran. Uh, sir, uh, to the best of our knowledge, Israel has, has not decided to attack Iran. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, February 20th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com, and on YouTube, my channel is ddarko2012, and my new channel, which I recommend you subscribe to, is ddarko2013. All right, so uh, I'll cover mostly Iran and that in this um, video. Uh, Japan intends to send the Strait of Hormuz, the fleet for the U.S. military support, says here from Washington, February 18th, according to Japanese news networks, uh, reported on the 18th, Japanese government is planning to dispatch a maritime self-defense force fleet to the Strait of Hormuz. A fleet will be uh, to frigates or destroyers and minesweepers as well as uh, such as refueling ships. The plan has been confirmed by uh, Japan's defense. The government of Japan believes that 40% of Japan from the Middle East oil through the Strait of Hormuz, if blocked, the strait will be Japan's energy supply and then will have a serious impact. At the same time, Japan has to provide collaborative support, uh, which is necessary to commence around the strait. And I think this article was actually um, had to go through translation, so uh, just be aware of that when you go in there. All the links will be posted in YouTube's video description. As concerns over our Iran's nuclear program escalate, um, Obama sent national security advisor to Israel. So... And most Americans, you know, Iran is not really on the top of their um, top of their list as far as you know um, things that they're worried about. It's usually what it's the economy um, and their future. And um, you got these douchebags like uh, Lieberman and um, Lindsey Graham, you know, up there, uh, basically what trying to start a war. And uh, you know, it's like I'm not gonna. See, I don't anticipate in seeing these guys uh, leading the charge, you know, uh, dropping bombs or going in there themselves, uh, laying coordinates, um, you know, putting their own lives in danger for what? For oil prices and for um, uh, for basically bringing down a sovereign nation. So what we saw in uh, some of these videos in the beginning um, was, you know, was semi-propaganda because, you know, the they're making it seem, the new mainstream media is, they're making it seem as if it's, you know, a showdown between Iran and blah, 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 you know, and the U.S. and and uh, Iran, you know, uh, comes out and, and talks about their centrifuges and, this, and their progress that they're making um, a big leap in their uh, program. And that's for what? That's uh, in sending the boats to, uh, up near Syria. This is a sign of a cornered uh, prey is what it is. I titled that a long time ago, probably about, I think it was like three months ago or something like that in one of my videos when I was talking about Iran, which is what? I mean, it, it looks like that, that Iran is right now is like being stalked and challenged. And when, when that happens in nature, this is part of nature is that usually you'll see animals put their wings up or their, 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 their arms out or whatever they're going to do to, uh, give the appearance. They have to, you know, bow up. They're getting ready to go to war. And it's not Iran that's causing it all. It's all the uh, mostly out of Israel, and the United States is going to um, follow lockstep. So the top White House official arrives for talks on Iran. U.S. National Security Advisor Donald Lynn uh, to meet with Prime Minister Dempsey. Israel, Israeli attack would be destabilizing. Uh, Clinton Ashton welcome letter from Tehran expressing willingness to return to negotiations. 
U.S. official signs pointing to increasing likelihood of Israeli strike on Iran. U.S. wants Israel to wait a few months in order to give the international sanctions against Iran a chance before deciding on an attack. So then we have report says U.S. officials say Israel would need at least 100 planes to strike Iran. New York Times quotes U.S. defense and military officials as saying that uh, it should Israel choose to attack Iran, it would be a highly complex operation. Former CIA director Michael Hayden said Israel is not capable of carrying out these airstrikes um, that would be able to seriously um, set back Iran's nuclear program, partly due to the distance the aircraft would have to travel. Israel has three possible routes uh, to those facilities, north over Turkey, south over Saudi Arabia, and a central route across Jordan and Iraq. And uh, Jordan and Iraq are actually kind of, um, I don't think they would be a sure bet. And Syria, of course, is what they're trying to get right now, uh, so they can fly right over there. Tel Aviv to get missile interceptor system, says Army, out of Jerusalem. The Israeli military will be on Monday deploying a battery of rocket interceptors from its Iron Dome system in the Tel Aviv region, a military spokesman said on Sunday. It says the dome is being incorporated into the heart of the Israeli military as part of the process. The system is deployed in different sites and will be in the Gush Dam region uh, in coming days. The deployment is part of the annual training program, just like the uh, all the U.S. soldiers that are over in Israel right now, part of this big training exercise. Iran helping al-Qaeda or al-Qaeda plot attack on West intelligence sources say this is from the 15th of February. I included this. Why? Let's reread this. Iran helping al-Qaeda plot attacks on West says intelligence sources. Then we have this one, February 12th. Al-Qaeda chief urges world to back Syria rebels. So most of us have a pretty good idea uh, about what's going on with the relations and that between Iran and Syria. Um, they're not buddy-buddy, but at, at the same time, they both realize that they're in the crosshairs of this uh, global uh, push, right, for one world government and getting all these sovereign nations uh, basically going under. So Syria and Iran have a mutual interest to stick by each other. And so you have this, Al-Qaeda chief urges world to back Syria rebels. That doesn't make any sense. Iran helping Al-Qaeda plot attacks on the West. Why would Al-Qaeda and Iran be helping each other when Iran is in good um, standing with the current administration in Syria? It doesn't make any sense because it's not supposed to because it's a bunch of bullshit lies. So basically what this is saying is Al-Qaeda or, or, or the CIA-backed terrorist organization, global terrorist organization uh, chief, urges the world to back the Syrian rebels, which are what? Backed by Al-Qaeda. So here's some more propaganda. Signs of Iran activity in Yemen, says U.S. envoy. Iran is becoming more active in Yemen and could pose a deeper threat to the stability and security of the U.S. envoy to Yemen, said on Monday, highlighting what would be yet another layer of uncertainty in the near failed state statue of liberty on hit list ex-cia chief warns get ready for terrorists who make al cia look like amateurs so just like when uh al-qaeda terrorists uh attacked the world trade center that was to what that was to attack your uh financial your economic freedom which you didn't really have a free market and that um and now they're gonna iran's gonna attack the statue of liberty to attack our liberties our privileges which we don't really have well, maybe we do have privileges, but we don't have freedom. But that's the reason why all these, quote, terrorists and rogue countries, axis of evil countries, want to attack us because we're so free. They want to attack us, or uh, the American people, because we're free. They're jealous that others are free, so they're going to attack free people, which means that they're enslaved. No, unfortunately, we're all enslaved by this global system. Unfortunately, most Americans don't realize that. Press TV signals jammed in Europe, says report. Such jamming signals have been reportedly interrupting the broadcast of Press TV's Iran 24-hour English language news channel in various locations of Europe. And then we have what? U.S. presses uh, EU to close SWIFT network to Iran. U.S. is urging the EU to block Iran's bank access to SWIFT, a global interbank transfer network, to step up pressure on Iran. I just want to include this. Britain bans Iran's press TV from airwaves. And then about this whole um, attack on the Israeli embassies, which was basically a false flag. Bomb suspects were anti-Iran uh, exiles. So the four Iranians suspected in the involvement of botched bomb uh, plot targeting Israeli diplomats in Bangkok, Thailand, were members of an exiled Iranian opposition group which wanted to the incident to reflect badly on Tehran. Then the New Delhi uh, in India attacks were an inside job. It says here, Delhi police believe 
uh, this motorbike was under the control of Mossad. They've ruled that out, and actually it's become what? A government. Remember I was telling you about that, about the governments actually in India and Pakistan carrying them out. Report says Mossad chief visited New Delhi, India before the attack and is in India to crack down on Mossad ops.